The Riot Receiver is a 4-channel remote control unit with a switching load of up to 1 kilowatt per channel. You can use a range of RF Solutions transmitters to switch this receiver, such as a fobber, a bogey board, or one of our industrial handheld remotes. Or, using our Riot Control app series directly from a smart device from anywhere in the world. In this video, we'll show how to set up Wi-Fi control of the Riot receiver directly from the Riot Control apps. Press and hold your Learn switch until the red Learn LED stays on. Then, release your Learn switch. Your white network LED will begin flashing twice, which means it is now transmitting its own Wi-Fi SSID signal. Now you'll need to download and run the Riot Wi-Fi Wizard app. These steps will vary depending on if you're using an Android or an Apple device. Ensure your smart device is connected to the Wi-Fi you wish to set up your receiver on. Then click the arrow in the top right of the app. For Android, your device in-app will detect your receiver. Press Connect. For Apple devices, you will have to select the right receiver on your device Wi-Fi settings tab. Once you do this, then head back to the Riot Wi-Fi Wizard app. You'll then need to select the Wi-Fi network your device is paired to. Then input your Wi-Fi password. Then select Yes to rebooting your device and wait for the LEDs to flash on your Riot receiver. The network LED will flash rapidly, then remain on. Close your Riot Wi-Fi Wizard app. This means you have connected the Riot receiver to your Wi-Fi. Now you'll need to open your chosen control app, so the Riot Control or the Riot Control Pro app. To connect your device to the receiver, this is achieved the same on either app. So once you load up your app, select Menu, then Add New Receiver. On your receiver, briefly press the Learn switch, which will then prompt your device to detect your receiver. Select Yes, and your receiver will pair to your selected profile. When your Wi-Fi symbol in the top right of your control app shows as green, as well as the network LED on your receiver is on permanently, your receiver is both successfully connected to your Wi-Fi and your smart device. For the standard Riot Control app, press Handset Type, then select your chosen button variation. So a four-button handset, for example. For the Riot Control Pro app, this allows you to create custom transmitter buttons that you can name after your application, as well as set up different control types to set up the Riot Control Pro, when your receiver is set up on your Wi-Fi and connected to your Control Pro app, you will need to create your desired switches. Select Menu, then Add Edit Buttons. Press Plus, then enter your button name. I'll put Outdoor Lights, for example. You'll then need to set up your channels. If you're using all four channels of the Riot receiver, you'll need to create four separate buttons and ensure each is on a separate channel. So button one on channel one, two on two, and so on. Once you've selected your channel, you'll then want to select your control type. This means you can operate your receiver in either an on-off latching mode, a toggle mode for momentary switching, or a user set timer mode. For switching lights via the first button, I'll select on-off mode. To add a second button that operates in a momentary action, let's say for opening or closing a garage door, repeat the steps. Put this on channel 2, then select your button. Then select your control type as toggle. You could add a third or fourth button that operates something like a gate or a door for a set time period 
then automatically closes by using the timer feature. So say I wanted to open a door or gate for five minutes, then for this to close automatically, create your switch, set the control type to timer, then enter your desired time delay. And you can set this in hours, minutes and seconds. Once you set up your switches, you'll need to actually pair them to your right receiver. This is really simple and can be done in two ways. On both control apps, to manually pair a button to the receiver, press your learn switch on the receiver for two seconds, then release. All LEDs will flash. Upon repeat press, this will cycle through each relay. Once you have selected your relay, operate the button you wish to pair on your app. This will now operate your receiver from anywhere, providing your device and the receiver has an internet connection. If you've got one to four buttons set up, each on a separate channel, you can also use the auto pair feature. Press the learn switch on your receiver, then operate the first of your four buttons. This will automatically map your four switches to your four receiver relay channels. Ensure your jumper links are either open for latching on off operation and closed for toggled momentary action. Once your switches are paired into your receiver, you can also utilize the acknowledgement feature. This allows you to actively monitor the status of your relays. Useful if you are switching relays from a distance and cannot actually see your application, or if multiple users operate the receiver. You can enable this on each button by enabling feedback, meaning when you now operate your switch, the green LED status will show your relay is active, while your red LED shows it is inactive. If you needed to wipe the Wi-Fi network from your receiver and return this to factory default settings, you'll need to power down the receiver, hold the erase switch and power this back up, holding until the erase LED is on permanently. That's how to set up direct Wi-Fi control to the right receiver. If you had any questions on the right control apps or on setting up your receiver for Wi-Fi control, feel free to leave a comment or contact support at rfsolutions.co.uk. Thanks for watching.